Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 custom scenario. This is Mons, Bado Mons Badonicus 500 AD. Uh, the <laughs> armies are pretty speculative here, uh, but we have the Britons. And Z Sid has the Saxons. So, Saxons, a whole bunch of warbands. Uh, looks like generally the medium variety, right? Uh, some heavies as well, and superior heavy. So terrifying impact foot. To fight that, we have hmm, interesting. We have obstacles and light fortifications. If we want, let's see, a drawn game will count as a Saxon victory. Unless it's on the Romano British to attack. So I can't just hide behind the fortifications, which is of course my very first cowardly instinct. Uh, where do we have an advantage? Lights, we have something of an advantage, and certainly in cavalry. So these are box standard light javelin horse. We have Irish skirmishers, so just regular light javelin men. Utes, light foot, raw, unmaneuverable, and one third each of bow, javelin, and sling. So effectively crappy javelin men, because you don't want to burn ammo shooting at reduced capability at range. Okay, we'll want to take these two hills and got one, two units of lancers that we can use to attempt to zone out their best heavy foot. Our light spear cavalry can attempt to irritatingly go for the flanks. Yep. Along with our Irish chieftains mounted on chariots. Okay, great. What do we have for infantry? Horrible trash light spear. Quality. Uh, quality, yeah, let's see. Untrained, minus 37 against any. Enthusiastic, plus 18. Okay, below average, minus 12, and superior 50, yeah. Arthur's household guard, so Legio Palatina, effectively. Rosis's household guard. Okay, and then below average, gross. So let's see, we can actually let's spread the heavies a bit. And... Yeah, I guess going wide is probably our best bet for trying to leverage some kind of advantage here. And we'll keep two units in reserve for the inevitable breakthroughs by the enemy warbands. We do have our own Saxon mercenaries, just two units of impact foot. Next turn. Interesting. I wonder if I should fall back and see if he's willing to... Uh, uh, it's not really worth it. I'd rather just... Let's just play it straight. Alright, so we have our own warbands. We can shift them over to the center then. We occupy that rough hill. Question is, should I take that up as well? He's got a loose order warband, so probably wouldn't do any good. Shift you over, shift you over, get into line, go. Something like that. 
All right. You know, let's actually keep the commander on our roving cavalry, which I generally don't prefer to do. But I think if he's going to try to shift over like that, we can try to apply pressure. So, and if he ends up hanging back defensively, then we can wait until our cavalry is fully on each wing before advancing forward. Next turn. Okay. Then what? Lancers are going to have to zone out these war bands. And yeah, we would ideally need to get around both flanks here. Prepare to cover the cavalry. Stretch out the line for more flank threat. It's an idea. Mm. Fill that gap. If he gets too dangerously close, maybe we turn around and march away as our flank contingents get into place. Next turn. So he is setting up defensively, which I am okay with. Keep moving you up. And if we go like so, then hmm, it's not good enough. Fine. Not quite a catch. But we can zone them out, right? Yeah, kind of. Okay, then what? Keep arcing around. Good. Let's say hello. I 
asked if I could open up more skirmishing. The problem is this could lead to getting caught out in a charge, which I don't love, but I guess what's the point of having more skirmishers if you're not going to use them? It's also kind of a waste to shoot up warbands. They have so many men. We're pretty much guaranteed to get caught out on at least a couple occasions by doing this, but I guess we don't have a whole lot of flexibility uh, here. Get in the way so that they can straighten out as they move forward. Next turn. Bounce off, that's fine. Uh, yeah, shove these along and, you know, murder those stupid faces, etc. Good. Shift inward and threaten more of the same. Here, shove them off, they evade, and not quite able to catch them. We're going to lose some of these units, it's about to happen, that's okay, Ooh, that's tempting, but is that rough ground, is that heavy foot, yep, great, so, oh wait, warriors, they're not heavy foot, they're medium grade, damn, so by occupying this hill, we'll still be at severe risk of fragging on contact, but it's the best chance we have, and worst case scenario, uh, they'll run away. We have more units at least. We are at serious risk of being surrounded here. Tempting. No need, I think, to be reckless. Do you have our own Saxon mercenaries? Warriors, yeah, so the rough grind isn't going to help in general. Too bad. Next turn. Should just bounce off, or not. First blood. Let's see, we can't fall back. We have to engage or else we'll lose this unit, which would be a great shame. Is 
that this is going to be frankly hideous. Worth the attempt to frag. Nope. Threaten them. And we are going to have to reinforce this situation. Mm. There we go. Do we push forward here? I don't think that's really necessary. We've already put ourselves in enough risk here. The war bands but did our light spear trash. Next turn. Hopefully we just bounce that. We do. for the hill advantage. Damn, we're gonna lose Arthur then. Sorry, buddy. Oop. Oop. Okay. Um... is not the best. Get the hell out of the way. See what happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, right. In that case, we have to do a bad thing. Wait. I guess if you cover the front there. Here. Why don't you hold for, like, a turn? No. No, you don't. You're not interested. Okay. Fair enough. See, how bad is this? I mean, the quality is so high. It's ridiculous. Here, get them out of the way. Once they break, we'll be set up to flank that unit, but that's not yet. Okay, uh, can't escape the cohesion check. We'll just have to hope for best. Right, um... You're just in the way. Threaten a flank. Go for impact again. I want casualties on them. Again, not going to do much with that, but... You... 
paste them. And if you if you go here, and if they charge and push us back, we can flank. That's the theory anyway. Let's get properly behind them. No one really cares about that. I mean, this is pointless. Oh well, we're off. And... We're off. Here we go. Race against time, then. We need to hold long enough for the cavalry to show up behind him. Which, I don't know if that's going to be possible, considering. Next turn. Can we hold? That's a no. And, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. All right then. Well, that was all the worst of it. Might, might be able to recover this. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a mess, but I think we're about to do some serious damage. So, let's see. Yeah, 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 no one cares about that. Okay, so why don't we charge, see if you survive a turn. Hmm, doesn't seem likely, does it? Here, roll that, see how far we can get. Hmm, not as far as I would have liked, but another unit so it'll give us more flanking opportunity uh, break them they break they frag maybe we don't even need to flank interesting disrupt here pile in now that's interesting uh, yeah you know So here we're going to break and it's going to be horrible. Oh, yeah, because we couldn't do that anyway. It's the zone of control and then we break again. Yeah, not quite, but we will. Auto drop. Held firm. And that's actually still looking horrific. Casualties downrange, but it doesn't really matter that much. Push them off, and we fail to catch. <sighs> Slow them down. We've set a trap here. Once we break, if our unit doesn't double drop at the next impact, then we could get a flank off. If Next turn, we're only up five, but feeling optimistic. You know, other than that. Should be able to bounce off there. Nope, okay. 
Good. Yeah, that's not too optimistic, is it? Okay, don't double drop and we're okay. Oh god. Let's not consider the bad things yet. Good. Okay. Then what? Cover. Zone. Zone. And we're not zoned in there, so we can actually turn away. Which we will do. Actually prepared to move either direction, wheel about, and start arcing around these units here. Again, keep them zoned. Oh god, that's a wreck. Charge, the slope advantage at least. That's kind of to be expected. Ouch, that's one of our best units. Right, well, you're all going to turn around and start moving to the other side if you can. Okay, fine, we'll need you over there. Up nine, but this is a wreck. Next turn. Yeah. And I figured. Uh. Okay. Yeah, they're running too. Well, so much for our lead. Very lucky that this unit didn't pursue into us and instantly break us. As a result, we can at least score an auto drop here and see what that does. And we can set up a future auto drop, assuming we don't fall back. Ah, here, let's try for that. Nope. Do we hold? If we hold, we can set something up. Good. Let's 
threatened to charge this disrupted mob with cavalry. Even light cavalry could frag them. Ah, keep you zoned out. I want casualties. Away. Right. Uh, right. Let's see. Ah, you're so annoying. Why do they have to be unmaneuverable? Okay. Away. And zone them out. Bad. Uh, sure. Try for it. No dice. Well, do your best to hold. Okay, overall, it's still looking good. It's just a bit of a mess over here. Next turn, oh, too bad. Damn it, we just need to stay in place for one turn there. Okay. Well, please hold. Good. Set up a drop. Ever so slowly move to set up a drop. Terrible, let's just bounce off so we can avoid the Zock in rough ground. Uh, here, push them along. Let's move that way. Okay, and we're off. You're away. Auto drop. Was lamentable. Okay. Well, it could work. We'll call that a success. Why not? Okay, zone them out while we get enforcement over there. that there. Next turn, a rally on one of these warbands and my foot. Another warband. So we're back to even.
Okay, well... Let's see if we can't hunt that unit. You keep being irritating. Uh, keep them zoned out, I guess. Good, we've dropped them below their third rank, so they're starting to lose combat strength with casualties as well. Why don't you actually move to set up a flank on that unit? Good. You set up a flank there, stay alive. Good. Auto drop. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, so move away. Tempting, but if we charge and bounce, you auto drop us, so we're not going to charge. Next. Oh, but why? Why you got to be like that? Okay, we'll just bounce off there. No problem. Good. It's about time. Uh, yeah, go hide it there. And, I mean, what can you do, really? I guess just, it's pointless, isn't it? Damn. Alright, uh, move away. Sound them out. Go for casualties. Good. See if this unit gets pushed back. Not yet, but it will dex turn, I bet. Okay, in the meantime, set up. Okay. Um, threat flank. Go for impact. Fine, prepare to get charged. That's okay. Try another flank. Nope. Really though, come on. Uh huh. Auto drop. Frag. Thank you. All right. So, let's see, we don't need this unit to threaten a flank anymore because the infantry can do it, so they can go harass these survivors. Right. We are now up 16 despite everything. Next turn.
Okay. Wish I could do something about that, but I can't, so... Oh well. Charge. And auto-drop. Get forward. Let's not block our fall back there. Shove these off. Okay. Um, do you break? No? Good. Set up a flank and turn around, around, get moving. Let's help fight those lights, I suppose. Sixty percent. So that is. Probably match. Okay. So it's not over because he does rally. Not that, it must be what? There it is. 24. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay, we're gonna finish this job here. Look, we are done with your shit. Goodbye. Crunch. Hmm. Try for it. Guess not. Okay, what do we got left to do here? Um, you might break just with infantry contact. Yep. Fair enough. Good. And advance. Okay, that has got to be GG, right? All right, and that is actually match. I feel like maybe this is one of those few occasions where a more aggressive approach could have paid off. I think, you know, I understand the slow approach given that there's these hills and, you know, maybe if I wanted to, I could try to run back here. That seems unlikely. But by taking his time, it allowed me time to get cavalry on both flanks, which ended up proving really problematic, despite the terrible low quality of my infantry, uh, combined with the fact that, you know, since I did have time to redeploy, I was able to spread that terrible infantry out and force some auto drops that I otherwise, I don't think, could have gotten. But who knows? Warbands are brittle and hard to use. So, a good game. 
Till next time.